Hey guys, welcome to Fresh and Fab Friday at Homegrown Home Zone in Cincinnati, Ohio. Are you ready for pie season? Because for me, it's always pie season. But this first line is called Happy Pie Season. Look at that. You got your allspice, your ginger, your cloves. Uh-huh. Some apples. Apparently, they're making apple pie. But not just that. Look at this fun little panel. A whole latte of love. Look, you got your donuts. You got a martini in there, a latte. Oh, my gosh. I want it to be pie season now. Okay, but then next, we am really into the autumn. Uh, this is autumn afternoon. This is a highly coveted line that several people have been asking for because they want to make the um, pumpkin quilt with it. This is an Anka's Treasures. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we're gonna we're gonna move out of autumn and we're gonna go to some glitz and glam like New Year's Eve. We got shimmer. This is a uh, Zen chic. It's just happy. It's a little whimsical. It's a little modern. But you know what? For that young person in your life who is all into the neutrals, like the gray, the black, and then the gold. Hi. Wedding quilt. Think big, friends. Think big. Oh, uh, what am I doing next? Okay, then we have. Oh, okay. We're just not in summer anymore, guys. Okay, we've moved on. This is Magical Winterland, and I think it is. Look how cute those little hats and mittens are. And look at this print. This print is, like, so cool. That one's mom's favorite. I agree. Okay, next up, we do have, okay, so we have all of these. You see all these? Yeah, those are all, like, $2 patterns by Villa Rosa. Well, what they've done is they've taken some that we've already maybe done, but they've taken 12 different ones and they're all quilts of valor and it's sold in this 12 pack. Those are the 12 you get. And then you can envision them in um, the patriotic colors, but they would all qualify for quilts of valor. So love it. I forgot pre-cuts. I'm sorry. Then we're really into our flannel right now as well. And so we have some packages. This is Maywood Studios. This is Desert Sunset. Yes. And this one is Holiday Warmth to go with what's back? Sheep! The sheep are back. We got nine more bolts of the sheep. I think we already killed one and a half based on orders. See, super cute sheep pillow. And I know someone who's already made that sheep pillow times two, and she loves it. It's super cozy. Um, <clears throat> So the sheep are back. Go get your sheep. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm walking past him. There's a lot today, guys. This is Halloween memories. Love that. So obviously you can, oh, look, that's a great picture of all of them right there. Okay. This has one, two, three, six quilts in it. But listen, if you love a quilt design and you're like, hmm, but I don't want it in those colors. It's okay. You can make it in whatever colors you want. I promise she won't be mad. She'll be so excited that you're making her pattern. Okay. And there's cross stitch. In the oh, that's right. There is cross stitch in the back. Look, look at that. Writing lessons, broom required, mask required. Oh, I like that one. Little flower pot. Okay. So there is cross stitch in there as well for you people who are the quilters and the cross stitchers. And then another thing I forgot, Doug Lico has a new pattern called Which Direction? It's fat quarter friendly. All right, that finishes at 51 by 63. Mm, we have two, one more thing. One more thing, right? In here? Mm -hmm. It's kind of two more things. This is by Three Sisters. This is favorite um, linens, vintage linens. Okay, so here it is and here down here. And then this is favorite um, collages. Okay, so these are all different. They make excellent backings. You have something like that. These are ones that they've had before in other lines. This one is a little bit Christmassy. Okay, but these would make excellent backings or if you need like more of a big print, but then you want to do like a locale with it around it, that would be really stunning. These are gorgeous. Um, okay, we do not have a show this week. So I don't have a question for you. But if you want to tell me something about yourself in the comments, I'd love to read it. Okay, until next time, go buy all your sheep. Happy quilting. Bye.